Hello everybody, we are here in Munich and uh, Sonos Play 5 is finally available, the brand new player by um, this great company, you can see here the wireless streaming a music player that has been out there for I think 20 years is the company all old and this is the first update they did to a product so that's um, quite impressive um, that 10 years after the first Play 5 came out now there's a new one available and um, with the true play feature is now also available on all of them but we have a brand new design and this is the first one to only have one button for um, being able to connect actually um, to uh, new devices otherwise on the top there's only touch buttons now available and I will try you why that's handy So let's first take a look at the box so you can see it's quite big and heavy It's still available in white and black. There's the black version as you can see here on the check mark. It's still um, quite beautifully packaged and easy to carry thanks to this uh, little thing here on top and it also tells you here on the top how to open it up it's um, also the first mechanism like this I've seen um, before so you have to take off this little thing here on the side then slide this also to the side you can see open and close and you have to do the same thing on the other flank here we go take this off slide here we go and what you can do now is lift off the top So the first thing you will see is right away the speaker, here we go, I will do a little bit of close up in just a second, let me just put this on the ground here, and then what else is there in the box, not much except for a little bit to read and a few cables. I already did an unboxing in German, so that's why I can tell you a little bit in advance what to expect, so here again it says Sonos. open it up and right away we will have here something to read then a network cable if you want to use it plugged in this is quite nice um, a really nice network cable not too long one point um, usually these are two feet not two feet actually six feet in, 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 <laughs> in meters there 1.8 meters and then also a power cable the power cable is also really nice I haven't seen these ones before because actually it's round all around and the quality is quite nice and it will seamlessly go into the back of the Sonos player that you really cannot see um, at all um, a millimeter of a glitch there and also here this side this is all made by Sonos for Sonos so quite high quality and we will plug it in in just a second let me first take again the box here into the picture and let's take off this protecting foil the favorite part of most Unboxes you can see below that there are already some fingerprints this is, since this is not the first time I'm doing this Here we go, it says Sonos on the front now in the middle Looking really quite nice And then again on the top there is no buttons anymore except for touch So before there was a plus and minus now it depends on if it's standing this way or this way Up will be always plus, down will be always minus and yeah, you can just choose which way to put it down on the ground. You can of course leave it like this also and then um, you can also choose it then. Then you have your play and pause button and a small little LED here um, above that that you can turn on or off in your app. Now on the back it says again Sonos Play 5. Quite beautifully we have here the power plug network. You can still plug in your external audio source. It cannot give out external audio source anymore but it still accepts um, the audio to go in and then we have here this one button um, for of course um, connecting into the network for the first time then on the side we have here still the rubber feet so you can decide which side to put it on the ground as I said before and on the bottom the same rubber feet the three to have it standing nicely on the ground which I will just place it here um, on the ground and move the camera also so you guys can see it Also we have here the old Play 5, which you will also be able to see, especially if I hold it up into the picture. This is how it looked like. This you weren't able to put on the side actually, or you were, but it 
didn't stand. Let me do it so you guys can see it a little bit. Here you go. So in size comparison, they're about the same size. Here we go. But the new one is a little bit deeper and more robust. And the old one would have stood like this, but it would have fallen over since there's no rubber feet. But there's uh, one more network connector and an audio out, as I mentioned before, here also. So that was the main difference. Let me just uh, leave them here both in the picture like that. And let me plug it into the power and let's continue with the setup, which will take a little bit longer thanks to TruePlay, uh, which means it will go here through the room and set it up perfectly. And so the speaker has the best sound possible. Here's also the Play 1, just for a comparison again, also in terms of size. So the Play 5 is now plugged in. What you have to do is open up your Sonos controller app, which looks like this. The old one was blue, now the new one is um, orange, reddish. And what you'll be able to see is I already have two devices connected, or three. We have the uh, Play 3s in the background, here up here. Play 5, Play 5, Play 1. Uh, the Play 1 is not set up yet. The Play 5 is actually the new one also set up as a kitchen device. You can see it if I just press it down here and go to the settings. You'll be able to see the kitchen is um, not actually set up in True Play yet. So that's what I will do now. And I could of course set it up also not as a kitchen since we are a living room. I could say living room or it's in the family room or completely just change the name any way I want here in the app. So let's do the True Play tuning. This is the thing that you would do probably when you set it up for the first time. So let's just hit next and then it will tell you to be a little bit silent and you have to place your speaker where you want it. Obviously it's just here for demo purposes right now here. We will move it later. And it tells me to move the, uh, to hold the iPad like this and it will tell us also So to keep quiet, since um, obviously the microphones that are mul there are multiple ones on the iPad and iPhones, for example, here and here and on the bottom in here, there's another one. So it will have a quite nice uh, procedure um, checking out the room uh, or the facilities actually to um, yeah, ensure the perfect sound quality. And it only works with iOS right now, since they just have a more standardized system. As when it comes to the microphones with Samsung and other Android ones, there's just too many out there right now. And Sonos is obviously working on um, being able to give you true sound with that also. So if we hit continue here, it will tell us to check out this video here, how to do true play. So you have to walk through the room, move your iPad up and down at the walls and going around the walls since actually the speaker will um, give out a sound and when it gives out the sound it will reflect um, from the walls and the microphone will um, listen to that sound that reflects from the wall and therefore the speaker will now where it is and adjust the equalizer and everything perfectly um, to um, have a great sound in any or in that one position of the room where it is at that moment. So we can just hit here the next button and let's start. I will walk you through the room. It will look a little bit stupid all around here, also behind the camera. And when we are finished, um, it will show it us here in a little circle where we are. I will show you when I'm half through and also where we are at right now. So let me start. <laughs> Thank you. 
So, we are finished. So the sound quality should be a lot better now. And let's continue. Complete. We could do retune, but you can see we are set up. You can also turn it off if you don't like it after. If you want to add another player, for example, the play one, um, I can do that also by just um, checking it out. That's a procedure you would usually do here with the play 5 being in the system. I would hit play 5. Now it will be the play 1 and then you just have to hit the setup. And here with the play 5 you have to hit two buttons as before. But with the new one you would only have to hit the one button in the back. I've shown you before and it's really quite easy to connect as before. And then you can do your true sound setup also. What I actually have forgotten here in the unboxing is to show you guys that all of this is written down here in the manual in the quick start guide and then we have also an important product information guide in different languages about the warranty but actually here the quick start guide is really quite easy showing you how all works there's a nice poster also here built in so you can put that up on the wall or just um, check out here that you have to set it up by plugging into the power download the app and then you can also see how to use the controls. It's really easy and not that complicated as you were able to see and the play one during that is also now finished and I can say it's in the guest room because I will bring it up later and if you plug it out and plug it in again and it finds the Wi-Fi it's automatically in the system as you have seen with the play 5 second generation before. So what I could do also do is add more. I don't have more and I could also go through the through play, uh, true play thing now, um, but I don't want to do it. Now again, you have seen how that works and let's just listen to a little bit of how the family room Sonos Play 5 sounds like with a song or the only song I actually have right now here to show you guys La Cucaracha, but it's actually quite funny and has everything you want. <laughs> My question is now, is the old Play 5 verse? Let's try it out. We, I call it the portable and let's do the same volume. It also has True Play enabled already, so let's just hit Play. Switch back again. I'm not sure yet. I think now you can hear also the difference. If not, it's a little bit more bassy but also clearer here. This is also really great sound quality, but you can hear just the new Play 5s are a wee bit be better, even though we have both in the same setup, same spot, same true play technology. Everything sounds the same and I actually have here the Sonos Play 1 up on top so um, it doesn't even have that much um, space. Now if I want to change the volume as I said before just hit the plus button and you can see here the LED. Let me show it to you guys again a little bit up close. So maximum volume. You can also see it happening on the app, obviously. The little icon goes down. And with the previous version, 
you just had the, the hardware button and you were able to hear the clicking of just pressing the button but it didn't tell you how loud it is or how loud it will be when you play the music. So that's actually quite nice little addition here. It's also annoying if you have a kid and it just goes anywhere to Sonos Player and does this, but I guess in the app you can turn it off. Let's actually check that out. Since it's not only an unboxing, but also a little bit of a review video. So let's go here to the family room um, and actually can turn off the light. We can go into the equalizer, we can change loudness, whatever loudness is. No, that's not the button hitting, but I guess that's not available right now to turn off, but it's nice that you can turn actually off also the LED so it's not annoying you also that the light is glowing like that. So, actually, True Play was on before. Maybe we did that already. Why is it now off again? That's quite interesting to see that True Play is not available anymore, even though we did it right now with the with that one. Anyhow, so thanks much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is Balaj and this was the Sonos Play 5 in a short unboxing video and also review. I love it. It's a little bit sad that there's less connectors there, but I think most people use it anyhow only for streaming um, services and I will just love using it here in my uh, home at some room I have still available, for example, my new studio in the basement.